does it truly mean to stabilize nitrogen? That's what most of us call it as nitrogen stabilizers. And what does it mean to manage nitrogen? Because those are two different things. So I feel like I need to break down what nitrogen stabilization means and what nitrogen management means. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna geek out a little bit and I'm gonna kind of walk through the process of, of what nitrogen does and how it converts. So if you'll bear with me, if you, if you think about the above ground nitrogen stabilization, there's one product and one compound that all of us use in agriculture today and it's called NBPT. So NBPT is a urease inhibitor. So there's an enzyme that's produced by bacteria that lays on top of the soil surface and it works to volatilize nitrogen and go off into the atmosphere. This is a, a urease enzyme inhibitor and it stops that volatility from happening. And it's usually active for about, about 14 days on top of the soil. So when we talk about nitrogen management below ground, um, the most common below ground activity that you, that's talked about in the industry today are bactericides. So um, nitropyrin products and DCD products. So I'd like to walk through the process of how nitrogen reacts in the soil profile. So if, using anhydrous, for example, if you put NH3 in the soil, knife it in, it's gonna add a hydrogen pretty quickly and form NH4, okay, NH4 plus. And we know that like when we put urea and, 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 and other, well, other forms of nitrogen on, we already have some NH4 in, the, in like UAN, right? Urea ammonium nitrate. So, so let's talk about the conversion process. NH4 in the soil profile is a plant available form, okay? A plant can physically take up NH4. It converts to nitrite which is a negatively charged ion, and then it'll convert to nitrate, which again is a negatively charged ion. The difference is this one is also plant available. That's key, it's a key takeaway I want you to remember. Ammonium, NH4+, and nitrate, and NO3- minus are the only two ways a plant can take up nitrogen. It cannot take up nitrate. If you look at this conversion process, it's, it's a biological activity that makes this happen. There's a, a bacteria known as nitrous ammonis that convert ammonium to nitrite. When you go down the line and go from nitrite to nitrate, there's another one called nitrobacter. And these are the two biologicals that work in this conversion process. What happens with nitropyrin and DCD is they work on this step right here. And they work to inhibit or kill bacteria and slow down this process to keep ammonium in the plant available form. Guys, when you, th when you think about nitrogen management, there's four R's when it comes to fertilizer management. The right product, the right rate, the right time, and the right place. So think about placement, right? Placement is key when it comes to nitrogen because we know eventually it's, this is going to happen. It's going to become negatively charged. Your soil is negatively charged and it's going to leach out of the soil profile eventually. Well, not all soils are created equally. You know, do you have variable soils with CECs in your soil? In, in, in your geography, absolutely you do. You've got some heavier CECs and you've got some sands. Right? Think of those CECs as parking spaces for positively charged ions like ammonium, ammonium and potassium and calcium and you know, your cations in the soil profile. Well, when you, when you save it as ammonium, most people assume because it's positively charged and soil is negatively charged, it'll just attach and it'll just stay right, right place where you put it. It's not the case. If you're in a lower CEC or your base saturations are higher in a higher CEC, and you don't have available parking spaces, you don't have a place for this to park. So you may have kept it in a plant available ammonium form, and you just, but you just told it to go run and hide and find a place to park. Well, if you're dropping like anhydrous and you're putting it seven inches deep in the soil profile, it's gonna have to start wiggling down through and find a place to park. Well, if it gets down deep buried in the soil profile, where's your root system? It's in the upper inches of the soil, right? So if we can work to manage this nitrogen and keep that nitrogen in the upper inches of the soil, right where the root system is, I believe that's where we're gonna have a higher rate of success. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, a technology that we have at Ag Explore that is truly unique to Ag Explore. And it's a, a technology called XN technology. And the XN means accelerated nitrogen technology. And it's about making sure we get that nitrogen into the plant in a timely fashion. And we do it by placement of nitrogen. So 
If you think about this technology, it is a calcium polymer technology. Now, it is not a polymer that works to protect. There's, there's polymers in the market that work on phosphorus and other, other nutrients that work to protect those nutrients, and they just bind them up with a chemical reaction. This is not a chemical polymer. It's uh, more of a natural, um, it is a biodegradable polymer, but this polymer is, is highly negatively charged, and it's a copolymer, so there's two of them. The calcium is interactive with the soil. If you think about calcium going on the CEC sites, what's the easiest one to bump off of a CEC site? What the easiest nutrient? It's hydrogen, right? Because it's the smallest, it's the smallest nutrient. Well, that hydrogen um, can bind with an NH3, for example, and go with anhydrous ammonia to form that NH4. And now we need a place for it to park. So these polymers, what they do, when you put nitrogen in the soil, let's say I put it right here with anhydrous seven inches deep, what it does is serve as a CEC site and it locks nitrogen right in this band, right in this zone. So instead of that ammonium ion coming down here and looking for that open soil colloid that's got a negatively charged site for it to attach to, we create negative sites right here. And we keep this nitrogen, this NH4, in the upper inches of the soil. Where's your root system at? It's right here. That's what Exxon Technology does in a product called Enzone GL. We also have this technology in, in products like Contain, Contain Advanced, and Contain Max. Contain, the Contain family, has NBPT plus XN technology. So for those of you that blow urea over the top and you impregnate the urea with Contain, it'll have NBPT to control that volatility, that loss of nitrogen in the, into the atmosphere. And then it's going to have that second mode of action. As soon as it rains and moisture happens or you run a pivot irrigation over the top of it and that nitrogen gets into the soil, it's gonna keep it in the upper inches of the soil profile. The beauty in that is if, if you're a corn farmer or, or farm putting weed out, that root system is gonna be right here. And it's gonna be in a high solution of nitrogen. And you gotta keep that nitrogen right around that root system. And that's where managing nitrogen below ground versus just stabilizing nitrogen below ground is the key difference. And that's what Exxon Technology does, is it works to place that nitrogen right where you need it and keep it there.